ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to begin introducing the 9-11 first responders who are going to tell you their stories, the health care problems that they now face uh, that we need more funding for. The men and women behind me are the reason why $25 million is not enough, and they're going to tell you why. First, I'm going to ask uh, Feel Good Foundation founder and first responder John Field. Yeah, John. Congresswoman Maloney, Congressman Nadler, Bishop, Vassella, you guys are now in my Fab Five. <laughs> Don't mistake my humor for my anger. Those who know me close me closely know my anger. I am one mad American. Make no mistake, we are here today, not as a special interest group, but individuals who have special, special interest in our own health care. Make no mistake, we're not here to endorse anybody, but we will stand behind the next candidate that plays a significant role in helping 9-11 responders. Make no mistake, this is no longer a game, this is not a laughing matter. We're talking about people that are sick and dying. This should not even be a political issue. We should not even be here on the lawn. When I think of being on the lawn, we should be at a barbecue having a good time at Carolyn Maloney's house. We are not here to play games. I am not here to make friends. I am here to have working relationships. I am here to get others to think like these great New York delegates who know how to help 9-11 heroes. The Feel Good Foundation, while based on my anger, Everybody knows is run on my compassion. This trip, putting it together, was so worth the while, even though it hurt me mentally, physically, and emotionally. Congresswoman Maloney, on September 1st, I am going to walk to Washington, and it will take 10 days, and I will come here on the seventh anniversary. But not only will I walk here, this group behind us will be 10 times bigger, and I will fill more buses. And I promise you, we will pass the James Droger Act. I promise you that. And when I'm done doing that, some, some cranky old man sitting in Congress is going to lose his seat because there's going to be a new sheriff in town. The men and women behind me are my heroes. And nobody disrespects heroes while the Feel Good Foundation is on watch. Thank you. Okay. Um, next up is, is Vice President of the Feel Good Foundation, Amory Bauman. As the wife of a 9-11 first responder and mother of two children who also were affected by 9-11, I am saddened by what my family has gone through over the past six and a half years. I stand here today as the Vice President of the Feel Good Foundation, which helps first responders with their everyday basic needs. I'm here today to implore Congress and Senate to make a 9-11 health care an issue to those behind me who answered the call on 9-11 and after. They need to be taken care of with proper medical care so that they have a better chance to regain some sort of health and dignity back in their lives. We need to work towards a brighter tomorrow and ease the burden placed on these great Americans. We need to find answers and solutions so that we can better serve those who served the country six and a half years ago. My husband is here, a retired NYPD first responder, and he is my hero. My children are here. They are my strength. And these people behind me, we love you. They are my, they are my family. They are my resolve. And their bravery and testament is why I choose to do what is morally and ethically right. We ask Congress and the President to increase the funding for the Centers of Excellence and provide the needed health care for these brave men and women. Amen.
while I have the opportunity, let's keep that round of applause going for Anne Marie. Anne Marie is the, is the person on this planet that knows the most about what these men and women are facing. Every day she gets numerous phone calls. I cannot get into this program. I have problems with this doctor. Anne Marie Bauman is there for each and every 9 11 first responder. So let's give her a round of applause. Later. I'd like to invite to the microphone now uh, Lieutenant Jim Richies from the New York Fire Department. I'm uh, Deputy Chief Jim Richards, New York City Fire Department. Uh, I lost my son on 9-11. He was a fireman. I mean, I was victimized once, and then I got victimized again when the government lied to us, and they told us the air quality was fine, and we never got respirators until November of 2001, when they had them down at the Pentagon, and we didn't have them up in, in New York City, and they were negligent. Now everybody's getting oh, no. sick. I was down there from the September 11th, that day, to the very end. I carried my son's body out of there in March 2002 with my three other sons. And I got sick. In 2005, my lungs shut down. I went into a coma. I was 16 days in a coma. They told my family I had five hours to live. Get your family together, he's gonna die. My lungs shut down. I was healthy, I never got sick in my life. All of a sudden, I got sick from 9-11. And I had stroke-like symptoms. I had to come back and go through all that stuff. I'm on all these medications now. People are dying out there. These people have to wake up and realize that we need help. People are paying GHI for their chemotherapy and everything else. We're coming out of our pockets. America has to wake up and help the heroes that were there. These guys, we went down on our own. And they helped out. They volunteered. Construction workers can't work anymore. We have all these people. The children were sent back to school. I mean, what kind of people are we? It's unbelievable. It's unconscionable. And we're voting this year. And the congressmen and the people that don't help us, we vote out. We have a loud voice. We knock Rudy Giuliani out by telling the truth about all his lies about 9-11. And we knock out all the politicians who don't help us. They're there to help us, and our vote is the loudest thing. And everybody's going to get active, and we'll all vote. And I can tell you one thing. I went down there every day, and there was a sign down there every day I saw. And it was hung about 100 yards wide. 9-11, never forget. But some of our politicians have a very short memory. But in November, we're going to remind them. Thank you.